Hello Super Friends and welcome to DC TV Talk. This is the show where we talk all things Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow and Black Lightning. And in today's video we're going to be discussing the very exciting news that Colton Haynes has been officially confirmed to return to Arrow Season 7 in a series regular position no less. So let's discuss. So, if you don't remember, I'm sure you guys do, but, you know, just in case you don't, Colton Haynes is an actor from Arrow who played the character of Roy Harper, aka Arsenal. He was obviously a big character in the first three seasons of Arrow, going from petty thief to criminal to Oliver's sidekick to the badass Arsenal. And he made his return in season four for an episode, and then he also came back extremely recently in the past couple of episodes of Arrow season six, being 15 and 16, uh, as Roy Harper's return. And it's now been confirmed that he'll actually be returning to Arrow as a full-time cast member as a series regular for Season 7. And this is the best possible news I could ever hope for. Roy Harper is one of my favourite characters in the history of Arrow. I think he's so incredible. I loved his character arc. I love the respect, like mutual respect between him and Oliver. I love the fact that he was, you know, an, a psychic who really just grew and developed and became extremely mature by the end of it. And, you know, what he actually did for Oliver at the end of season three, you know, sacrificing himself for him was a really bold move and something I didn't see coming at all and really just had Roy's arc closed off a really nice way. The last few times we've seen him have not been the best, like in season 4 it was cool to have him back in the Arsenal suit and see him again, but the consequences of his return weren't particularly exciting, and same with season 6 where he's just kind of been, you know, the couple of episodes where he came back for season 6, it was kind of posed as the Roy Harper story arc, but it wasn't even really about Roy, it was more about Thea. Uh, but what's interesting about Roy coming back to the show is that when you look at when we last saw him, he of course left Star City with Thea and Nyssa, to go and track down these three remaining Lazarus pits that Malcolm Merlin had found. And he left with Thea, and that was kind of their closing off. You know, I thought we're probably never going to see, you know, we're definitely never going to see Thea again because Willa Holland has left the show, and we're not going to see Roy again because why would he come back really? Because he just keeps coming back for kind of no reason, so this is the perfect way to kind of end off his character. So I think it's very interesting that he's coming back again, but even more so as a series regular. I think that's extremely exciting news. You know, I mean, I'm very excited. You know, I almost screamed and flipped the table when I saw this on Twitter, but uh, I, I think this is fantastic news. I'm just confused as to why it's happening because like I said, the way they closed off the last time we saw him, the way they ended off his character arc was just, it seemed too complete and too uh, final to actually bring him back again. Um, I mean, there is speculation out there that people are saying perhaps Thea is gonna die which I don't think that's going to happen just because if Thea was going to die, they should have just done it in episode 16 instead of going through this because then you'd have to bring back Willa Holland and she's left the show, so why would you bring her back just to kill her? It doesn't really make much sense unless they did it off screen, but then that would be extremely wasted because Thea is an is extremely impactful character. She's been there since season one, so killing her off screen would be awful for anybody watching it. It would lack any emotion or impact. It just means Roy would just show up again. Uh, it could be something to do with Nyssa, I don't know, maybe Nyssa will come back and have a bigger role in Season 7, I hope so, I think that'd be really cool, but what I personally think it's going to be is, you know, perhaps this story of, in Season 7 is going to be a lot more mystical and a bit more involved with the League of Assassins, and perhaps Roy, he gets a lot of detail on these new Lazarus pits, and he comes back to Oliver to help him uh, once Oliver gets a bit more intact with this whole uh, with this whole debacle, because I think personally going into Season 7, Seeing as now in Season 6, we have the main villain as Ricardo Diaz. He is connected to the Longbow Hunters, who is connected to Lady Shiva, who I believe is going to be the main villain of Season 7. I think it's going to be Lady Shiva. I'll probably do a vi uh, video on that, you know, when we get closer to uh, Season 7 of Arrow, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be Lady Shiva, so she's then connected to the League of Assassins. It all connects back to the League of Assassins, whether it's Ricardo Diaz, the Longbow Hunters, Shiva, it all connects back to the League of Assassins, and that, of course, has the Lazarus Pits involved. So I feel like this is gonna be, maybe next season's gonna be, uh, a bit of a different story than what we've seen before, but kind of similar to what we saw in Season 3 of Arrow. And because Roy was out there and he had this information, he's going to come back uh, and he'll be there to help out Oliver with this um, with this situation. Maybe this could be the return of Malcolm Merlin also. We could also see Nissa Al Ghul get a bigger role. I'd love to see that actually, get Nissa perhaps as a series regular or uh, put her as a, uh, you know, at least a recurring guest star. I think that'd be a really awesome idea. And we could have perhaps Nissa on Team Arrow for the season, that'd be sick. Um, but I think that's what's going on here. So I think Roy, he's going to come back to Star City to give Oliver this intel and then he's going to find out that, 
you know, while he was away dealing with this Lazarus Pit situation and dealing with these League of Assassins members, you know, perhaps the Thanatos Guild could come into it, which was set up in the episode 16. We could see how uh, he would actually find out that Oliver had been dealing with this threat, Lady Shiva, who was then connected to the Thanatos Guild and to the League of Assassins and everything like that. And it all connects together, so he just goes, you know what, I'll just stick around and I'll help you. Um, and overall, I think that's amazing. I think that's absolutely incredible. I think the way this season is going to end off and then go into Season 7 with this potential storyline is very exciting and very interesting indeed. And the fact that Roy Harper, who, like I said, is one of my favourite characters, is going to be coming back is such an exciting prospect for me because I just love his character so, so much. Uh, I wonder if he'll get a new suit because obviously when we saw him uh, last in season six, he kind of had just a very tactile kind of just thrown together suit, a bit more comic book accurate, but it was still a bit more thrown together. I wonder if he'll get like a red equivalent to his Green Arrow suit. That'd be pretty sick. Um, also, he doesn't have the Arsenal suit anymore. Uh, Colton Haynes has come out and said that. He said Roy Harper doesn't actually own the Arsenal suit anymore, so that's gone. So he'll probably get a brand new suit, probably from Cisco or something. He'll get a new suit and he'll be able to join Team Arrow again uh, as Arsenal, which would be awesome. I wonder if he'd get a new code name or would he just come back as Arsenal? You'd have to think he'd come back as Arsenal. And I think and I think Arsenal's a pretty great code name, so it'd be awesome to see him come back as that. But tell me what you guys think about all this news in the comment section down below. Are you happy about Roy's return? Do you think it's going to be awesome? And how do you think he's actually going to be brought back into the story, given how he was closed off at the end of his arc in Season 6? Let me know in the comment section down below. And thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like if you did. It'll help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone and everyone you know who loves DC TV and get them to join the community. And as always, guys, please subscribe for all of your latest content on Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And with all that said, guys, I hope to see you again in my next video.